I am a Zionist. We can give back the Palestinian people their respect, their land and peace, and we can live together in peace. at the Middle East. I think it's about time we stop those of us who support, as most of us do, Israel in this body, for apologizing for our support for Israel. There's no apology to be made. None. It is the best three billion dollar investment we make. Were there not an Israel, the United States of America would have to invent an Israel to protect her interest in the region. The United States would have to go out and invent an Israel. I am a Zionist. You don't have to be a Jew to be a Zionist. I want to thank our dear friend Bobby Kennedy, phenomenal friend of Israel and the Jewish community, for joining us to celebrate Israel Parade on Israel's 75th birthday. Bobby, this crowd loves you. God bless Israel. I'm going to be a champion for Israel as president. God bless America. And, and you, you see how much they have the love they've shown you, your family's legacy, your family's contribution to America, and the friendship between Israel and the United States. And God bless you, Bobby. Thank you very much. Thank you, Bobby. Okay. No, here, here, really to show, show our support for Israel during some of the most difficult times. It has clearly been an important parade. And then just to march with these great leaders here. Almighty, the reason we gathered here, Jews who are true to the religion of Judaism, um, because simply we are being misrepresented. They have here the unfortunately the people parading and celebrating uh, the establishment of the state of Israel that's basically hijacking the name Israel, hijacked the, the, the Star of David. Well, Judaism is a religion to be subservient to God. It's 3,000 years, around 3,000 years old. Zionism is 75 years, and it's a transformation to nationalism, to occupy another people's land, to steal, to kill. And uh, ironically, even as Jews, since 2,000 years ago, since the destruction of the temple, we're not even allowed to have our own sovereignty. So this whole concept, their celebration, where you have boys and girls singing and marching in the name of a God, in the name, is all a farce. It's unacceptable. It's a rebellion against God. It's uh, and Jews around the world, whether here in the United States or you go in the U.S. in U.K. or in Canada or in Jerusalem in Al Quds, you will find invariably that the very religious community stands in unison in the opposition to the uh, to the whole concept of the state of Israel. It's just simply unacceptable. And uh, a lot of times I like to show pictures how we used to live together. I like to show pictures how we would have demonstrations of tens of thousands of Jews in Al Quds in Jerusalem or in Washington. These are all the very religious Jews. The Zionists, you can see the farce. Ben Gurion declared his state in 1948. Not one of them is even covering their heads. The rabbis, who, who were the real 
chief rabbis of Palestine, not through the Israeli rabbinate, which is also a farce, window dressing, but the chief rabbis and the ra stood up and said, we furthermore wish to express our definite opposition to a Jewish state in any part of Palestine. And since then, we've been demonstrating in the tens of thousands and young children, old men, get brutally beaten, Jewish people, not just Palestinians, simply because they're standing there demonstrating. We don't have guns, they can't accuse us of being uh, terrorists, and yet they brutally beat with impunity. Beat and arrest boys and girls because they refuse to serve in the army. They brutally beat young men, old men, children. It's unbelievable, this is daily happening and the world is silent and uh, turns a blind eye to what's happening in Palestine. This is totally unacceptable. They're spraying them with chemicals to discourage demonstrations because their clothes get ruined. And like I say, this is ongoing daily. It's the sad tale of the state of Israel. A, a state that is really illegitimate, unacceptable, and yet has the audacity to speak in the name of our religion. But again, we encourage everybody to go to the very religious. You will hear, we pray every day for the total and speedy, God help, peaceful removal of this impediment to peace, this cause of hate, this cause of exacerbating anti-Semitism around the world, this cause of so much bloodshed of Palestinians and of Jews. We plead everybody to uh, pray to God, and God should help with his compassion, bring an end to the Zionist state soon in our days. And we begin the peace in harmony with the Palestinian people, with the Arab people. You know, the issue is that we have to show our, our gratitude to the Muslim people and the and um, and, and around the world. They, they, they embraced the Jews, they gave us a home even in Palestine included in the Ottoman Empire, even though we have a distinctly different religion. It's, nothing, it's not a religious conflict. This was never a reason of conflict. The Zionists want to declare it's a religious conflict. Nothing could be further from the truth. It's a simple, uh, selfish, political, nationalist movement of Zionism of 75 years, a little older, and they're masquerading in the name of Judaism. But it's nothing with religion. God will help. It will be removed. We can give back the Palestinian people their respect, their land and peace so we can live together in peace.
Hey, your fat ass is gonna get the vehicle a flat tire. Your fat ass is gonna get the vehicle a flat tire.